So today I removed the stock transmission cooler. Yeah, this is a Dorman 918-545, and the gentleman on my YouTube channel commented and said basically this is a drop-in replacement for the stock uh, transmission cooler, as in it would just fit everything perfectly, I guess, is kind of what he was saying. And I don't know, that may be true on a different year, but it certainly was not true on my year. But as you can see, I was able to make it work. So on the Dorman unit, uh, the benefit here is it's a much larger transmission cooler. There is no, um, no thermostat in it, so it's just a free flow all the time. Um, so I had to weld on these brackets here and then raise it up a little bit. One of the issues with the, the Dorman out of the box was it comes with this hydraulic quick connect. Um, this is a half inch uh, O-ring boss hydraulic fitting. And so I had to order some half inch uh, O-ring boss to half inch male pipe thread fittings and then just put a little elbow in there and a half inch pipe thread to barb. Now in a previous video, which uh, I can link in the description there, I had deleted that heat exchanger that's over there and then the, the coolant pipe that's under the exhaust manifold. Uh, so basically there is no, no direct connection between the coolant and the transmission fluid anymore is that heat exchanger is gone and then the coolant pipe up there is gone. And it's really simplifying the, uh, the transmission cooling lines. So all those metal cooling lines that come stock are now gone. So under the truck now where those two hoses come in, I have the one hose coming over here to the, uh, the transmission fluid supply hose coming out of the transmission. And one thing that I found was I was able to use this metal line uh, and reuse it by cutting off, let me see if I can get that, basically splitting these guys in half on that line and then they come apart and then it's just like a regular barb fitting and what you're left with up here is just a nice barb up to this fitting that then returns into the transmission. Which this thing was only about $150. Uh, versus a Mishimoto uh, transmission cooler, which I think comes in between five and six hundred dollars depending on where you get it from uh, Of course, I didn't factor, you know, my own time into there and I did have to do some fabrication welding But I did get it all back together with the intercooler and the um, the uh, AC condenser there and everything does fit very nicely 